Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today with my beautiful friend, Valerie. Hi. And we are here today to share with you our update for Nightmare on Panning Street. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by the both of us. And this is the second year we were doing this project. Now I will preface this video by saying I have messed up my neck. I hung some curtains up yesterday and my body said not allowed to do that <laughs> and this neck is stiff and sore so i probably will be doing like the robot turn <laughs> no ballroom dancing for you no ballroom dancing Mangos, for me. no salsa mm -mm. Mm -hmm. i can do a little bit of a shimmy but that's it <laughs> and of course we have mr milo here he is Hello. hanging out today all right. So and also, this is probably going to be a quicker video than we normally do because mom was going to take a muscle relaxer. <laughs> and those make me sleepy. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Valerie, why don't you share with us what you finished? Okay. I'm so excited. I have Ooh. four empties. Yay, yay, yay. And they are. Are they good ones? Two of them are good ones because the first one I finally finished my pillow spray from Ren. <laughs> yes. I this is where I was last month. I like went to town with this thing. You were like, this is not gonna be in here for one more month. No. Nope. I do not want this going into twenty twenty three. So I finished That's it. That's awesome. Month. I'm so happy. I really don't understand these things at all. I guess they work for some people. I should be fair, but they don't They don't work for you. They don't help me sleep, no. That's out. And that was in for the stranger, something no longer welcome in your collection. Mm-hmm. And it is no longer no welcome. No longer welcome. Bye-bye. The other exciting one is my bite lipstick in <gasps> maple. I finished it. There's a Yes. Little I think the last party. time you showed it to me, there was still some left in there. You didn't show me the empty. That's it's amazing. done, yeah. And there's a little bit in there, but it's scraping my lips, so it's done. I do not dig it out. Bye bye. Beautiful color. That was in for Fright Night, a vampire themed item. So Yay. Fight. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now we always use the word beautiful in this video, and I have pulled up my thesaurus so that <laughs> we don't use the word beautiful. Shoot, so, I should pull mine up. This, this color this is maple it's alluring <laughs> alluring that's the, one, that's the first one in the thesaurus <laughs> this was alluring wow okay yes i love it an alluring that's lipstick bright night out the next one that is out or will be in a couple of days is uh oops sorry that's my little sticky note this is the Essence slash Princess. Mm -hmm. This was in for us. A dupe. Oh, right, right. This is supposedly a dupe for uh, Lancome. Lashy Doll. Lashy Doll, yeah. Yeah. I have really enjoyed this. Ooh, that's good to hear. Mascara. It will officially be out on the 31st of January. It will be its last day. But for this project... Mm -hmm. It's out. And, and I, I will definitely repurchase this when I get through the other 400 mascaras that I have. <laughs> I will repurchase. And for, for reference, today is the 29th of January. So it's just she's just got a couple of days left. Yeah, just a couple more days. <gasps> and the last, it's not, a, it's not an empty, but it's a goal hit, is uh, for the Hills Have Eyes. This is a, an eye product. Mm -hmm. And I had rolled in a color from my old janky <laughs> Lorac Pro. <laughs> This poor guy has been through the ringer. Oh, yeah. I love that you call it janky with all those jacked up pans and non-pans. I, so I was <laughs> Look at that pan. Garnet, and I hit gold and garnet. You hit major pan. pan in that. Yeah. So in this project, I've hit pan in both of these. I have this one in another project. Mm -hmm. And this one to finish in another project. So Ooh, it's looking we're, good. we're getting there. It's looking we're good. Yeah. yeah it's looking good. So four three empties and one goal hit. Four all together. Woo woo. Whoop whoop. Hallelujah.
Your turn. My turn. Okay. So four, I have six things that are rolling out. I have one, two, three, four that I finished. One is a surprise empty. Hmm. <gasps> well, you know about it, I think, but the other folks don't. So the first prompt is Jaws, a water themed item. So I chose my bathing gar the bathing gardens, whipped soap and charm and ruin. So I did get this finished. This is lovely, lovely product. This is like water on the bot at the bottom there. But I really do enjoy these. I've already opened another jar. I'm trying to get through these because they're made from an indie dyer. And what were the scent notes for that one? Oh, I do don't you know. know. Mm -mm. Okay. She doesn't put it on the packaging. Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately. The next prompt I have an item out for is Imitable Horror, a product that haunts you. So I rolled in my Hourglass Confession Lipstick. This is the shade If Only. I had rolled this in for 10 uses, but I went ahead and finished it. It's all finished. It's kind of hard to tell because there's, um, you can tell there's the plastic. That's the plastic bit. So anyway, this is all done. Yay. I am so excited. I have a, a one of these lipsticks out. I wasn't expecting to finish it, but once I got through 10 uses, I was like, there's just a little bit left. So I went ahead and finished it off. Let's finish it. Finish it. And I bet that was an appealing color. It was very appealing. Yeah, I bet it was appealing. I guess I could have swatched it. Is that the next word? Oh, yes, Is that's quite charming. <laughs> <laughs> so charming. <laughs> The next prompt is the invisible man, something that erases. So I'm so glad to finish this. This is the Laura Mercier secret eye brightening powder. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's not, that's not powder in there. I was like, what is that? It grew. It might have. Wait, I can't. You know what? Here's the deal. I can't get any, I, I can't get any more out. This thing lip wouldn't come out and I was like there is not even enough in there for me to do an eye so it's done yeah. woo -woo. <laughs> I'm so excited this is done oh I've had this in my collection forever and Next, under eye powder too those are tough to finish they take forever you these loose ones much. yes yep. four grams it's a lot it's a lot of powder frack me Moving on. Next prompt on. is Lost Boy. Something that makes your face look not dead. I rolled in my Hula bronzer. I rolled this in for 10 uses. I was at six last month. This is a lovely bronzer. I actually finished a bronzer recently. So this is the one I'm working on full time. I had rolled this into my one of my year long projects at the beginning of the year. I think it was my Beauty A to Z. So now it's in here to finish and a different project to finish. You'll probably need to repress that soon. I yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. The next prompt is Rosemary's baby. Something new in your collection. I rolled in this tree hut sugar scrub and frosted cranberry. I love this one. This scent is so good. Did you, you didn't buy this one. Did you? I did not. It's so good. Yeah. That was dumb. Why didn't you? <laughs> dumb, dumb. I think I bought a, a one or two backups because I loved the way it smelled. Yeah. All right. And the last prompt that I can roll a product, product out for is carry, mm -hmm. an item that's a sin not to have in your collection. So for me, that is a, one Bobbi Brown lipsticks and two hydrating lip tints. So this is in the shade. Oh, which one is that one? This is rum raisin. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, no, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is blue raspberry. It's also cute. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, that's dazzling. <laughs> <laughs> this is like an alphabetical list of uh, synonyms. <laughs> We've just started the D. Shit, that's so funny. Dazzling. So, and this is like, this is close to being done, done. So I'm crying because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> but I would like to eventually put this in a project to finish because it's close. So if those are my... If you all haven't guessed, Jalen had no idea I was going to do this with the thesaurus. No. <laughs> it's a complete surprise. <laughs> Hopefully I don't ruin my makeup. Well, that's funny. But that's okay because it's laughter. Laughter is the best medicine. It's true. Okay, moving on to things we are still working on. Would you like to go? I'll start. I am still working for on the... Okay, let me back up. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. For the prompt Jaws, a mm. water-themed item, I am still working on my Laneige water bank hydrating hydrogel moisturizer. You can see that I am really mm -hmm. toward the bottom of this guy. Yeah, you're so close. I've been, I've been, yeah, I think this will be out next time. I love this so much. Oh, I do too. It's such a great moisturizer. Do you think, I don't think it's as lightweight as Aqua Bomb. I, I agree. It's thicker. But it has that same con very much. Yeah, and it but it has that same consistency. Mm -hmm. Like of a gel time moisturizer, but it's so hydrating. Yeah. I don't use very much. Now, have you ever used the Neutrogena Hydro Gel moisturizer? No. Mm -mm. That one's really good, but I went through that really fast. I went through a full size. This really this fast. Is taking much longer. Now, to be fair, I am working on several moisturizers so this is not getting my full attention right but it's like serious go time now on this guy One you're like we're, we're getting it done getting it done so do you think that the what would you compare the neutrogena one to would it be more like the Laneige or a uh, belief i think it's more like the belief okay yeah i, I blew through that pretty quickly I wonder if they have one that's similar to the moisturizing balm. Hmm. I don't know. We don't know. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Okay. For get out. Get out. Get out. Get out Something of my collection. Out of your collection is this Luna Sunday, uh, Sunday Riley Luna oil. It's a night oil. I love this so much. And I don't want to get it out because I don't like it. I want to get it out because I've been dragging my feet on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see where I am. Yeah. Good. Because yep. this is a dark, dark bottle. So the bottle actually goes like to here, the glass. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm toward the bottom of it. I love, I love how they do their oil bottles because you can see it has that dip in the middle for the dropper it's a great oh, it's a great concept i'm sure there's other companies that do that but that way you're getting every last freaking drop yeah and i'm i love this it's, it's not a, not a problem using it it's beautiful oil i think i have another one yeah oh, i have a couple of juno and i think i have one luna i think i have a mini of luna that's what i think i have is a mini mm -hmm. so it's a, I'm, it's I'm a great oil have, and look they're so pretty on my on my bathroom counter sitting next to each other. <laughs> these two beautiful blue bottles. Beautiful. Go, dude. I'm all about the aesthetic. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, not beautiful. It's it's delicate. No, that doesn't work. That's it's not. It's, it's what? It's delightful. Delightful. It's delightful. I don't know if I like that for that. It's not delightful. It's beautiful. Uh, what's the next one? Elegant. Oh, it's elegant. That would that works. That works. It's an elegant yeah. oil. Now for the exorcist, something that makes your head spin with delight because mm -hmm. it's so beautiful. I rolled in this REM Beauty Liquid mm -hmm. uh, eyeshadow mm -hmm. in the color Lab Coat for thirteen uses. I'm at eight right now. Oh yay! Okay, I'm getting there. You're getting there. It's really pretty. It's got, I'm not going to swatch it right now, but it's got like a peach flip to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's stunning. 
But oh, I will say that it's drying up pretty quickly. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. The product's drying up, so I need to use it. Hmm. Yeah. That's a bummer. For the prompt insidious, something that you dreamt about purchasing, that was this Charlotte Tilbury um, face palette that was on during the Christmas. It was just released during Christmas. Mm-hmm. Come on, dude. Open. Open. Open up. That's it. Gorgeous. It's, yeah, this is the medium or the dark. I think it's medium. Medium dark. Yeah, this is medium deep. Medium deep. And I have it in for five uses to use the palette five times. Mm -hmm. I've used it three. So which, which ones have you tried? Well, oh. I usually combine the two blushes mm -hmm. and it's, they come out beautifully. And then I've really been enjoying this, um, highlighter. Oh, okay. It looks dark. Yeah, it is. But, and you but wear, I, you use it on its own? It's I cool. use it on its own. Ooh, love it. Yeah. I love it's it. Beautiful. So that's how I've been using it. I have two more uses on it. I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> it's a beautiful palette. I'm so happy I got it. <clears throat> it's gorgeous. So this this palette is exquisite. <laughs> okay. It's an exquisite palette. One that I rolled in last month is for a movie I've not seen. One Missed Call. Have you seen that movie? Mm -mm. Yeah. And this was something that you almost missed out on buying. And this was my Jo Malone perfume. Mm -hmm. Actually, I bought this when we were together when I was in mm -hmm. Dallas mm -hmm. one time. And it was it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I have it in for 13 uses. And I've used it three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're working on other perfumes. I am. I yeah. finished a lot of perfume, actually, in January. So. Yeah. Now I'll be using this and hopefully finishing it up. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here in my little basket? This is for Hereditary. I told the story about my Aunt Joanne who used to love Clinique. Mm -hmm. And I rolled in this perf perfume. <laughs> this lippy. <laughs> and this is in, oh, I can't read it, Love Pop. Mm, it's a good one. Pretty pink. I, uh, for 13 uses, I'm at nine now. Oh, okay. It's just a little too pink for right now, so I'm not I'm not really gravitating toward it. You know what? That would be mixed. That would be really pretty mixed with what you have on now. Mm, that's true. I should try it. I love mixing, as you. It know. is a fascinating color. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's a fascinating color. <laughs> so four more uses on that for Dracula. Dracula that sucks the life out of you. We're back to my friend, my YSL water stain lip. For 13 oh. uses, I'm at eight. Okay. All right. I'm getting there. I'm still not sure whether I'm going to keep this. Mm -hmm. it, that smell is really strange. I cannot pinpoint it. Every time we talk about that lippy, I'm like, I need to pull out that. The lip tint that I have, the tatouage. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything organic. Do you know what I mean? It smells like chemicals. A man, like a man, like chemicals. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so I you, say that if you don't like it, get rid of it. I might, might just do that. For the blob, which the prompt is something jelly or putty like, I rolled in a MAC paint pot in bougie. Oh, that's right. Bougie. This is for. 13 uses. Mm hmm. There's a really interesting flip to it. Mm -hmm. Now, I was using this like four or five days in a row. I used it and I loved it. And then I stopped using it. Oh. So I'm still at five of 13. Oh. You need to get this back to a, it. This is a fine, good looking, gorgeous color. <laughs> You just put three together. And yeah. Fine, good looking, and gorgeous. 
So I, I don't know why I have stopped using it. I, I think I've been distracted by other things. So Well, and we started the our, our pan that palette and, mm-hmm. you know, all that stuff happens in January where you're like, I want to use all the stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. So I need to really focus on that guy. Yeah. I, it's, it's, be- it's not beautiful. It's... <laughs> It's grand. It's grand. <laughs> My last item is for another movie I haven't seen, which is Triangle. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, I haven't either. Never seen it. This is a product that's never ending. For me, that is eyeliners. And I rolled in a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is actually a glitter liner mm-hmm. in purple. It's kind of a mauve color for 13 uses. Mm-hmm. That's a gorgeous. That's a flattering yeah. color. Yeah, oh, I almost said beautiful. It's handsome. It's <laughs> it's a handsome color. So this is I'm at six of thirteen uses, so I'm about halfway there. On okay, it. awesome. Yeah. Yay! That's it. Those are all the items I'm working on. That's what you're working on. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I have. I don't remember how, what is six minus thirteen. Seven. I have seven left. Seven that I'm working on. For Candyman, a product with such a long name that it takes you five times to say it, which is credited to Jen at Project Beauty. <laughs> or a cr- candy-related product, which That's is credited to, to, yeah, to Peely. Now, I rolled in my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex Serum. And I rolled this into finish. This is a 20 mil bottle. So I am down to here. Yeah. So I'm hoping I'll have this done by the next update. Didn't you roll that in last month? No, I rolled it in the month before, but I really hadn't worked on it very much. I think it was all the way up here. Mm -hmm. So I think I will be able to finish this. We'll see. I love that serum. Yeah, that's a lovely product. The next prompt is the Babadook, something with a weird name credited to Leah Embo, or an item that is hidden in the deep, dark recesses of your drawer, <laughs> credited to Mitch Gooday. So I rolled in this Rom and, Rom ampersand and, whatever, Rom and, juicy lasting tint in the shade Fig Fig. Or Fig, I don't know. It says Fig Fig on the bottle, or the tube. Well, it says and and on the, on the tube, too, so, you know. Raw man and. And. Oh, that's right. Raw man and. <laughs> raw man. I think it's just raw man. Anyway, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely color. It's what I'm wearing now. I'm actually wearing it over something else, but I really do enjoy this. Now, the weird thing about this product is that when you put it on, it's cold, it makes it's a cold sensation, which I don't quite understand how, but it feels cold. And that and eventually goes away. Like I don't it doesn't smell menthol to me. Is it tingly like the buxom things? No, just cold. Just cold. Hmm. It's kind of weird. I, mean, I don't love that about it, but I do love the color. So I rolled this in for ten uses. I'm up to five. I I had four before I put it on today, so I'm up to five uses on this one. Okay. What's what's the next word for beautiful. Magnificent. It's magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> next prompt is demon slayers. Something you first thought was a demon to use, but now always has your back. Credited to Courtney Cullen. Very difficult prompt. Way to go, Courtney. I rolled in this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. This is a full size. I rolled this into finished finish. I have not touched it yet. This prompt is going to be in here a while. Wasn't there an old I Love Lucy where they, she did Vita Veggie? Vita, Vita Veggie Mat. Vita Veggie. Wasn't it a, a food? Vita Veggie. Um, snack? Yes, snack? it was a food. It was a, it's not mask. It's, it was like a drink. Vita Veg. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Hold on. Yeah. I now, love every Lucy. Time you, every time I look, I have that same mask. And yeah. every time I look at it, I think of I Love Lucy. The Vita Veggie. Oh, 
Vita Vita Meta Vegemin. Yeah, it was Vi Vita Meta Vegemin. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's really hard to say. Vita Meta ve Vegemin. Yeah. Meta Vegemin. Vita Meta Vegemin. <laughs> Can't even say it. Vitamina vegemin. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were going for whenever they named this. Maybe. It'd be funny if they, if that, that that was true. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's gonna be in here for a while because I haven't touched it yet. Now I feel like I'm close to getting to use it because I I'm working on another hydrating mask right now that I really want to get finished. And once that's done, I will start focusing on that one 100 percent all right, next prompt is the changeling, something that bounces from project to project. This was credited to Donnie DePatis. So I rolled in this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Smoke and Whistles. And I rolled this in for 30 uses. So I had rolled this into like a 50 uses for another project. And then I rolled it into one other project. I can't remember what my usage goal was on that. And then now it's in this one for 30. So this is, I actually have 24 uses on this. So this will be out next month for sure. It's a beautiful cream highlighter. Wait, what? What, what is it? It's a marvelous, marvelous cream highlighter. <laughs> it's quite pleasing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> next prompt is the conjuring. You don't know what possessed you to purchase this item. I rolled in this Mac. Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Hot Damn Wazelle de Avignon. Wait, that's upside down. And I just love the texture on oh, that. Oh, that's it's the reason why I bought it. I was like, this is gorgeous. Yeah. But it's not a highlighter on me. It's This is a highlighter for deeper skin tones. And I am a pasty, pasty white girl. <laughs> so there's the color. And I use this mostly as a blush topper. So I rolled this in for 10 uses just to get some use on it. And I am up to two. <laughs> Eight to go. Woo! <laughs> the next prompt is Nightmare on Elm Street. Something that you have, what? Something you have to cut into to finish. Oh, this one was a hard one. So you helped me with this one. I rolled in my ColourPop Libby pencil in the shade Dopey. Yeah, this was Dopey. And because you're cutting into the plastic on here or the wood to get the, to get to the pencil. And I have been using this here and there. I actually should have put it on today, but I didn't. And I mean, this comes out of the packaging. That's all that's left. Every time I open the cap, if I don't open it like this, the pencil is sitting in the. <laughs> Color pop fail. Color pop fail. Oh, cannot wait to be done with that. And I think that was my last prompt. No, I'm sorry. I have one more. I have one more. The last prompt I'm working on is one missed call. Something you almost missed out on. And that's credited to Leo. Leah, not Leo. Leah. And I rolled in my Pat McGrath palette, the Bridgerton collaboration. This is in Diamond of the First Water. And I rolled this in for five uses total. And I'm up to two. I think I have two. I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure I only have two uses on this. It's be not beautiful. It's splendid. It's splendid. How appropriate for a palette that was, isn't that, it's not an English show. But it's like royalty. Splendid. Splendid. <laughs> this one's my favorite, of course. I can tell when you held up the palette that had like powder around it. I was like, she's been using that one. <laughs> she's been using that one. Actually, I would say I think I've used, I've used these two. I've used that one and I've used that one. I don't think I've used the shimmers. Just because I have other shadows I'm working on that are shimmery. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think I've used those four shades. It's lovely. All right. Those are all the items I am working on. Okay. Yay. All right. Tell us what you're, what you're rolling in. Well, I'm rolling in four. And the first one is for the thing. Mm -hmm. Something you're not sure how to use. I have no clue where I got this. 
which is a majority of my collection. I don't know where I got them. Okay, let me this see. This is by a brand called Alpha. I know H. where you got it. That's it, fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I have it too. Have you used it? No. It's but I know Li- the brand. I know the brand. Oh, I've never heard of the brand. It's called Liquid Gold with glycolic acid. I think it's a... So I think that product is for your face. Yes. And it says is it a to tone or is it liquid? Yeah. But it says to put it on with a cotton pad. And then once it's dry to the touch, you can put your moisturizer or serum on. So it's before moisturizer and serum. So after, so it's after toner. It's almost like, it's, all, it's just a, I feel like it's a glycolic, glycolic acid. So that's the brand where I use their... Okay, yeah. That's the bottle. Alpha H. Assists in firming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of silk, protein, and licorice. I mean... Going to go in for 13 uses. Okay. I cannot wait to see, hear what you think about it. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but but it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. So that's interesting. I need to, because I, I was thinking it was the same brand, but it's not. The same brand as the the lotion that I get for my Ketosis Polaris. Mm-hmm. It's by a brand called Alpha. Oh. Alpha Skin Care. But can you show that bottle again? Because it, it I don't think it has the same logo. <laughs> Well, no, this is, it's hard to tell, but it's, it's alpha, alpha H and then there's a hyphen H, oh, I'm just which look. I didn't realize it's, and it's not clear on the box. That's probably backwards. No, it's not. Well, maybe not clear on the box, but when I was <clears> reading, <throat> it's from Australia. It's an Australian product. I see it on Durham store alpha hyphen H. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. We will see how it goes. A mild tingling sensation may be experienced when using this product. In the rare event of an adverse reaction, discontinue use. Duh. I love it when they put that. It's like, really? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is I'm looking at it on Durham Store, that particular product, and it has eight reviews and it's five stars. Okay. Well, maybe it'll firm up my skin and... Do all the magic. You won't have to do a mini facelift. It'll just give it to you. And I won't have to, and I won't smell like licorice, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Moving on. For Sleepaway Camp, have you ever seen Sleepaway Camp? It's been a very long time. It's it's a crazy movie. Uh, This is for a product that wasn't what you expected. And this is a little primer by Guerlain. Mm-hmm. This is the Lore primer. Oh yeah, I've used that. I I was expecting amazing stuff. A, it's Guerlain. Second, it has little gold pieces in there. I thought maybe it was going to be amazing. Yeah, and it's not. It's just not. So this is a mini that I'm going to get. Just finish it up. Finish it. I would agree with you 100. percent I don't think that primer is anything special. It's too bad because you think, oh, my gosh, I'm spending – this was a gift with purchase or something. Right, right. But, you know, to spend that kind of money on a primer and then it just is not special. Mm-mm. Disappointing. I agree. Third one, for child's play, this is something in childlike packaging or childlike theme. I am going to roll in a palette that I've never used. I've had it for a, a year. Okay. Oh, look at that. And it's my glam light cake, a little uh, cake palette. It's so cute. It, yeah, it's cute. It is likely the brightest palette I own. What are you going to do? I'm going to do No Pan Left Behind. Wow. Valerie's yeah. going to, she's going to come on here next time with all kinds of colorful eyeshadow. That's exciting. I'm, a little, I'm not gonna lie; I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but you gotta I, use it. You gotta use I've it. I've gotta use it. I've gotta use it. Everyone says Danny is a huge fan of Glamline of this 
formula. Mm -hmm. And so it's time for me to use it and check it out for myself. Yeah. I mean, who knows? See if it's as stunning and superb as she says it is. (laughs) Okay, and lastly for the movie It, Stephen King movie, is uh, something that reminds you of a clown. Well, what reminds me of a clown is a lot of color on their head, orange wig or whatever, Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. their costume and all of that. So I'm bringing in a lip balm that I've had in my collection for a while. It's by Winky Lux. Oh, look at that packaging. This is the packaging. Wow, that is very colorful. the lip balm is just like a little bullet, but the balm is tri-colored. What? I think I remember seeing this. Maybe this way you can see it better. And I think I remember thinking that's stupid. Well, it's one of these, it's, they, they market it as a rainbow lip and cheek balm. And it's AHA. It's one of these color enhancing pH balms. I've never used it. It's been in my collection for a while. Yeah. And I'm going to use it 13 times and see see what it is. I, have a, I would put it in for like half a bullet or something, but uh-huh. I'm working on a lot of lip balms right now yeah. that are actually into finish. So I'm just going to try this for 13. If I like it, it'll go in the queue for the yeah. next yeah next one but i thought it was just kind of perfect it's Not perfect for the prompt perfect the packaging and the yeah and the bomb itself perfect we'll see i did not know you owned that that's really funny oh there are a lot of things <laughs> there are lots of things that i own there that are, are funny <laughs> Uh, All right, so that's it. Those are my four new ones. Okay, good. You brought in some good ones, really good ones. Yeah, I hope so. I have six. So for the first prompt, I rolled was Beetlejuice, a green or purple item. So I'm rolling in a mini that I have in hundred colorful empties. It's this fresh tea elixir, the Skin Resilience Activating Serum. So we're gonna give this. That's one a the try. serum I want to try. I know, and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. You tell me what, what, before I spend $80 on a jar, on a bottle of it, It's you tell of, me what you think of it. It's kind of a weird, gross consistency. <laughs> <laughs> it has a very, very light tea, tea, tea tree oil scent. Mm-hmm. Very faint. It seems nice. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. And then the next prompt is the Silence of the Lambs, a lotion. Credited credited to Andrea over at Pretty as a Peacock. And of course, it's, it rubs a lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> so, I'm rolling in my Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. This is in Cranberry Splash. Wow, you're all about the cranberry right now. Yeah, apparently. I figured this was a... I have this in 100 Colorful Empties as well. And this is a somewhat seasonally appropriate. I know we're about to go into February, but I'm working on a smaller, uh, a smaller jar of the Josie Marin. And I figured I'll just roll this one in right after. If I can get it open, I want to smell it. Oh, that's very, that's very fruity. It's emphasis on the splash, cranberry splash. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on the splash. Smells good. Yum. That's yum. I don't remember how I ended up with this product. I think it, I feel like it was part of a, what do you call it? QVC set? Mm, yeah, likely. They sell a lot of Josie Marin there. They do. QVC. It smells good. It's very fruity. So that's anyway, that butter. isn't a finish. I love this that's product. A body, that's a body butter, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, love find, I love to use these more so in the winter than the summer. So that's why I'm rolling it in. It's a little, probably a little bit too citrusy for right now, but we're just, we're going to, we're going to work through it. All right. The next prompt is alien, something that is one of a kind. And I'm so excited about this one. This is the Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil. Oh, <laughs> another one that I own and haven't opened yet. Priming Facial Elixir. I hear it's good. That's what I hear. I need to mix it up because there's a, I don't know, I don't think that's supposed to be there. It's been on its side. 
So I'll continue to mix it up. But this I'm going to roll in just for 13 uses. I just want to try it and see yep. what I think. So yeah, I'm excited. That's Yay. two products that you need to give me a review on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, the next prompt is the Blair Witch product, an item that you wear, that you'd wear on a makeup, no makeup day. So for me, that's chapstick or anything that's kind of lip, a lip product type thing. So I'm rolling in my, a chapstick by Burt's Bees. It's the pomegranate flavor. I am close on like three balmy product, like lip balm products. So this isn't going to roll in right away, but it's going to roll in somewhat soon. I really do love, I just stuck that like right up my nose. <laughs> this, I, I, I don't love the original Burt's Bees, but I really do like their flavored balms. Mm. I, I, love are, the, I love the consistency. And are they flavored? They're flavored. They're not like in your face flavor. Yeah. But they just feel, like, I, I think I'm over the tingly lip balm you know that their original is this is just a really nice hydrating just run-of-the-mill chapstick so yeah. i do enjoy this one quite a bit i've never used any of those chapsticks burt's bees. you've never used burt's bees i've used burt's bees but not the not, those not the chapsticks. oh you should try the flavored ones i may have i may have one i can give you like it's like a duplicate i mean i know you probably have a lot but that way you can just try it i may have one okay <laughs> Oh, look. <laughs> All right. Well, if you don't, you let me know. Okay. Let's see. The next prompt is saw. Something that's a pain to use. This is credited to Leah. And I'm rolling in a bath product. This is by Bathorium. It's their coconut and bourbon vanilla mineral milk bath. Whoa. Yes. It's a big bag. Well, well, I guess not. It's not as um, big as you would think, but the, the, so the reason why I'm saying this is hard to use is because I don't take baths very often. The main reason why I wasn't taking baths is because by the time I filled the bathtub up, my hot water was gone. Well, I, ch I just got a new water heater over the holidays because it died. My old one died. So I had to get a new one and I got a bigger tank. So I'm hoping that now I can fill the, the bathtub up with hot water and then have extra if I want to add more water. And so we're going to test that theory out by using some bath, these bath milks. Now this, you are, you are only supposed to use two to three tablespoons. And I'm like, fuck, it's going to take forever. There may be a little bit more than three tablespoons going in. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, I'm gonna give this a try. That looks like three tablespoons. <laughs> oh, I wanted to smell this on camera, so we're just gonna sniff it. Because it was kind of in one of these, like, sealed packets. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. <laughs> I guess we'll try it. I may end up mixing some Scentsy Soak with this. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll All see. Right, what's the, so what's the goal? To finish it? Yeah, I want to finish it. Okay. I want it out. May the force be with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your support. Wait, that's, that's admirable. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> the last prompt, right? This is the last one, yes. The last prompt is Event Horizon. A product that is magnetic or has ma magnetic packaging. This is again credited, credited, wow, credited to Andrea over at Pretty as a Peacock. So I'm rolling in an eyeshadow, a single shadow, and this has a purpose in my current panning situation. So this is the shadow I'm rolling in. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the shade Enchanted. So I wouldn't, I need a deep, dark, purple for the outer corner i'm finding that i'm lacking in that category right now so this is the shade looks like your nail polish it does this one um, nail polish is a little more blue yeah but yeah i figured i would roll this in for 10 uses and get some because it's otherwise it's been untouched and see how it goes and what's the brand i'm sorry i missed it anastasia beverly hills uh, oh abh yeah, nice. abh and that is everything I'm rolling in. Whoop, whoop. Good products. Yeah, I'm excited. 
I'm excited to get some of these products out. I think, I don't know that I'm going to have a lot done next month. Oh, well, I'll have, I'll have the serum done. I'll have the ColourPop Usage Goal done. I will probably use the Ritual Defee because I only put 10 uses on this. So I'll probably get that done. And I'm thinking, no, I don't think I'll have that one done. I won't have the Pat McGrath palette done. I may have the tea elixir. Mm. Those are the things I think I may finished. Yeah. I have a lot that I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hit my goal on both of these lippies mm -hmm. and on this matte paint pot. Yeah. And also on this eyeshadow. I'm I'm really gonna push to hit goal on all four of those. Yeah, that's good. That's a good plan. Yeah. At least get one of the cream or liquid eyeshadows out. I'm going to have a lot because I will definitely get two eyeshadow. more on this palette. Oh, yeah. Charlotte yeah. Tilbury palette. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably finish this Laneige and also the Sunday. I think I'm going to have a lot of... You are going to have a lot out next month. Look at you go. Six, seven, like seven. Hmm. That's awesome. Woo! Woo! That's uh, bewitching. <laughs> Did you go through all your words? I went, yeah, well, I went through the first, like, the, the closest match, like, mm -hmm. and then they give you a whole bunch of others that are sort of, like, bewitching or divine. Divine. Enticing. Foxy. Foxy! Oh, ravishing. That's a good ravishing. one. Ravishing. That's a good one. I bet, I bet you this oil is ravishing. It's either that or it's resplendent. <laughs> resplendent. <laughs> is, there, is there a... Oh, there's little balls in here. Like little of those bead balls. Oh, to, sh for, to shake it so, up. So, yeah. <laughs> like a nail polish. Yeah. That's interesting. Let's be thick. It doesn't look especially thick. Oh, no, it doesn't, does it? But, it's, but while I'm mixing it, this this is starting to thin out, and the color of the oil is getting darker. Mm. It's not quite gone yet. I'll have to continue to shake it. Anyway. <laughs> okay. We're done. All right, we're done. we're done. Is everyone doing well on this project? How's everyone doing? I love watching the uh, videos. Yeah, and that's so much the fun. Instagram updates, it's great. Uh-huh. Really I great. love it. Love it. Love it. It's ideal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and Valerie and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Woo. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome and welcome back. Today I'm here with my beautiful friend. friend. <laughs> the next. Hmm. Hmm. Prompt. Prompt. <laughs> <laughs> the next prompt. Prompt. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Ooh. Boo. 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 Oh, dear. Okay. Bye.